Nowadays, we can see the serotonin a crucial factor in pathogenesis of anxiety. We still do not know yet the precise pathogenesis of anxiety. But we believe that one of the crucial factors that cause anxiety is decreasing serotonergic effect. So, how to treat anxiety? Because serotonin is highly associated with anxiety, probably by increasing serotonin level in the synapse, we can decrease anxiety. And one of the drugs that has serotonergic effect called buspiron. Buspiron is a partial agonist of serotonin 1-alpha receptor. And to explain the mechanism of action of this drug, we have to know how serotonin neurons work. So, we have presynaptic neuron, synapse and postsynaptic neuron. Serotonin neurons uptake tryptophan. Once tryptophan appears inside the neuron, tryptophan anticohydroxylation by the rate-limiting enzyme tryptophan hydroxylase with formation of serotonin. Once serotonin is formed, vesicular monoamine transporter puts serotonin inside the vesicles, and in this form serotonin is stored inside the neuron. But once depolarization occurs, neuron pushes vesicle into the synapse. We call this process exocytosis. As a result, vesicle becomes destroyed and serotonin molecules income to the synapse. On postsynaptic neuron, we have numerous serotonin receptors. And once serotonin molecules appear in the synapse, most of them immediately bind to serotonin receptors. With binding, they activate serotonin receptors and activation of serotonin receptors decrease anxiety. Some of the serotonin molecules bind to serotonin 1-alpha receptor on presynaptic neuron, which is autoreceptor. With activation, this receptor inhibits the exocytosis of serotonin vesicles into the synapse. So this receptor provides reciprocal regulation. But what happens to serotonin molecules that simply did not have time to bind to any receptor? On presynaptic neuron, we have a serotonin transporter called SALT. This transporter uptakes free serotonin molecules and delivers them back to the presynaptic neuron, where the big bad boy monoamine oxidase A waiting for them. Most of the delivered serotonin molecules have a tragic fate. Monoamine oxidase uptake and destroy them. But some serotonin molecules are able to slip away from monoamine oxidase and such molecules income to newly formed serotonin molecules, thereby replenishing serotonin pool. When patient intakes buspiron, buspiron binds to serotonin 1-alpha receptor on presynaptic neuron. Thereby, now serotonin cannot bind to 1-alpha receptor. With binding, buspiron activates 1-alpha receptor, but buspiron, unlike serotonin, is just a partial agonist. If serotonin binds to this receptor, receptor becomes fully activated, on 100%. But if buspiron binds to 1-alpha receptor, receptor becomes activated only on 50%. And if 1-alpha receptor only half activated, the reciprocal inhibition becomes only half effective. And with decreasing reciprocal inhibition, the exocytosis of serotonin into the synapse increase. And from this moment, step by step, serotonin molecules begin to accumulate in the synapse. In the synapse, serotonin molecules search for a serotonin receptor on postsynaptic neuron. And once they bind, they activate them. This time, even more serotonin molecules accumulate in the synapse. Thereby, even more serotonin molecules will bind and activate serotonin receptors. And the higher the stimulation of serotonin receptors, the higher the serotonergic effect, and thereby, the lesser is the anxiety. So, buspiron provides partial activation of 1-alpha serotonin receptor. This causes decrease in reciprocal inhibition, thereby the level of serotonin secretion into the synapse increase, and the higher the amount of serotonin molecules in the synapse, 
the high the serotonergic effect, and thereby the lesser the feeling of anxiety. Buspiron, as other serotonergic drugs, requires one to weeks to show clinical effect. Buspiron do not interact with alcohol, unlike benzodiazepines or barbiturates. And nowadays we use buspiron only in generalized anxiety disorder, and only as a third-line option, because the first-line drugs are selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors and serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors. As we see in the recent guidelines, buspiron is indicated only in generalized anxiety disorder, and only as a third-line option. The first line are selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors and serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors. The second line is pregabalin, and only third line is buspiron. And also, buspiron has no signature side effects or syndromes. It can cause dizziness, nausea, headache, but nothing specific.